And as we can see, HostGator has emailed us all of our account information. So if we click on it, we can see our control panel, our control panel, username, domain name, password, everything like that. So you're going to want to print this out or keep it safe somehow. Um, so let's see what we have done. If we go to tyler.com, we have created our website. We've gotten our domain name and hosting, and now we need to transfer our website, um, our tyler.com website to your real website. All right. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we have to do is install uh, WordPress. So we can do that through our control panel. So go ahead and click on it and copy in your username and password. And press login. All right, once we do that, we're going to get logged in and we're going to see something that looks like this. And we can scroll down to software and services and click quick install. And we can close these uh, tabs for now. And then we can click on WordPress and click install WordPress. All right. And then we can go and click this drop down and I have lots of domain names. You'll probably only have one though and find your domain name. There it is. And don't put anything here. So you don't want it to install on uh, your website.com forward slash something. You want it to install on your main your website.com. Then put in your admin email. I'm just going to put in my email blog title doesn't matter so we're just going to put title for now because we're going to change that admin username you could just put your name and first name last name then click install wordpress all right we need to do this in order to transfer the website over from tyler.com to uh, your website all right it says your installation is complete so we can view our credentials um, and we can click on our website. So, but if we, um, if we have just purchased our domain name, our website name, and we do this, then it's not going to work right away. That's because it takes from anywhere from two to 24 hours for our website to work all around the world. So we want to wait that long, but if we already have waited, then, um, your website will work. So, um, if you haven't waited, just take a break right now and come back in a few hours and then your website will work but if you've already waited then your website will work right now so we want to just go to our website and if we go to it it says website coming soon blah 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 um, now we're just gonna log in so to log into your website you go to your website.com forward slash WP dash A D M I N. So WP dash A D M I N. And it's going to tell us to log on, um, to log in, I mean. And we can use our username, which is Tyler. Yours will be different. And password, which is this password. All right. And then press login. And that will work perfectly. All right, so um, we can get rid of this quick install now.